If you're a rally fan of a certain age, it'll always come down to a decision between two brands, Subaru or Mitsubishi, a rivalry that was as fierce on the roads as it was on the rally tracks of the world. Now, I've driven a number of Subarus and some later Evos, but never something you might call a classic. And they don't come any more special than this, the fabled Evo 6 Tommy Mackinnon edition. So the Tommy Mackinnon edition then, it's one of those cars, isn't it? Like, if you've got a Capri, people will say, is it a Brooklands? Or if you've got an Impreza, they'll say, is it a 22B? This is the one. In Evo land, this is the perfect car. I've driven two Evos before, both Evo 10s. And as much of a Subaru fan as I am, and I am a big Subaru fan, the Evo is just the better driving car. The Subarus definitely have the more exciting and interesting engine, but it's also far more fragile. Everything else though about the Evo, especially if you're a driver, is far, far better. I've just jumped out of a Delta Integrale Evo 2, a legendary rally car and the second in my trio of road going rally specials that I'm featuring this week. It has to be said that you don't really need to spend very long behind the wheel of the Evo 6 to realise that it is a far superior tool. There might only be a scant five years between this and the Integrale, but you have to remember that is spun off a platform that started life at the end of the 1970s. So in many ways the Evo is not so much five years younger, more like 15 or 20. And it feels it. like to know your numbers on the Tommy Mackinnon? Check those out now. I didn't have problems though with researching the Tommy Mackinnon. You see I know that you could get it in red with all the decals on it and that's the one that people always think of. You can obviously also get it in blue but there were apparently also different versions. The GSR or the MR or the RS or the CVT or the whatever I don't know. And a lot of people mention things you get with the Tommy Mackinnon for example titanium wheels in the turbine, lighter Enki wheels, which this one definitely does have, nicer seats. But nobody could really tell me for sure if every version got everything. And Evos are one of those cars where I think you really need to know them intimately to be able to be expert on them. So I'm not going to pretend that I know them because I don't. very happily tell you is that this thing, even off boost, even pottering along, trying to get a, a bit of a gap ahead at 40 mile an hour, this thing is just sensational. The steering is light but so direct, absolutely amazing. There's some feedback through it too. This five speed gearbox, which in Evo land is the stronger one. In Bretz's, it's the six-speed that's the better box, Evo's, it's the five-speed. This is really nice to use. It's short, it's accurate, it's everything the Integrale's gearbox isn't. That front end just does what you want to do. This steering is, and it's a cliche. I know, but I'll, I'll put my pound in the cliche box. This is telepathic steering. Oh, yes. Now, this car, as you wouldn't be surprised to hear from a Japanese car, is not standard. It is actually a Japanese import as well and it's running I'm told around 305 horsepower so it's not that modified. You can hear it give the odd pop and bang and it'll go boop, 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 and do all those sorts of things. It's got a mushroom filter up front, some HKS bits and it's got an exhaust that I'm quite confident is also not standard. However power delivery is smooth, is linear, really nice. The second Evo 10 that I drove was heavily modified, running something like 600 horsepower, and to be entirely honest, it was ruined. It just wasn't any fun whatsoever. It's not an enjoyable car. This 
really is. And if you'd like a chance to win your very own Tommy Mackinnon edition Evo 6, my good friends at BOTB have one available to win. In fact, it costs just £1.70 for a chance to win one of these beautiful rally cars. No, not this exact one, because this one is Ben's, and I suspect he's going to keep it. And keep it he should, because it is rather good. And if you don't fancy an Evo, they've got over 180 cars to choose from, including other great modern classics like a Skyline GTR, Impreza P1 and Integrale Evo 2, with a guaranteed winner each and every week. Tickets start from as low as 85p, your first year's insurance is already paid for and you could win an extra £20,000 cash in the boot. Entrance must be 17 or over. Good luck. If you want to know more, check out BOTB.com. Anyway, back to the video. Like the Integrale, this is another car that's part of the collection owned by a lovely chap called Ben. And all he's asked for in return for featuring his many, many cars is a shout out for his Instagram page, which you can see here, and a link in the description down below. That's it. Cheers, Ben. You're legend. car pulls really very hard from about three and a half thousand rpm this isn't slow at all and it pulls hard all the way to the 7000 rpm red line torque seems to be quite flat it doesn't drop off it doesn't really rush to the red line like an old naturally aspirated unit might but it's effective there are quite a few pops and bangs they have been mapped in and although it wasn't mapped in by the current owner he hasn't tried to map them out either he does enjoy them turning circle is poor should you want to use this car for daily duties but happily, there's quite a bit of room in the back seat if you're not put a car cover in there. And there's also quite a bit of room in the boot too. Let's get it through some more twisties, shall we, and get a feel for how the diffs and everything in here work. The, the Evos have some magic in them, some crazy stuff. They got AYC, all sorts of various systems. But in all fairness, the great thing about those is that you, you don't really, certainly not at regular road speeds, feel their presence. This is absolutely not a car that you would call sort of overly digital or helped or driven by a computer not at all this is still very raw very connected to the road very much a driver's car just as well because the suspension is on the firm side i don't know whether that's an evo 6 thing a tommy mackinnon thing or a jdm evo thing I, I i simply could not say it's not awful but it is maybe a little bit harsher than i would like it to be but then if the trade-off is this beautiful turn in I'd live with it. I really would. When you look down, it's not actually as quick as you think. It's really not a problem at all. It's plenty quick enough. And I've got to say, I wasn't sure whether this car would be as good as it is. In fact, no. I was certain this car wasn't going to be this good. After the disappointment of the Integrale, this is just magic. And look, here's the thing. This is the conclusion to my rally car road special week. I couldn't blame anybody for wanting an Integrale. I still want one, even though I've driven it, and I know that it really is as disappointing as all of its owners make out. But please, please, nobody try and tell me that it's a, a great, brilliant road car. Because honestly, truthfully, this Evo 6 knocks it into a cocked hat. It really does. This is properly electrifying. in addition it's good 
it's really good. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.